Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or wherever you are when you're watching this video. It's me, Naturally, and I am back. Back like I never left, boo. Back. Because I ain't did my hair in a minute, y'all. Like, wait till I take this butt out, y'all gonna see. The struggle. It's been so weird. Like, I don't think y'all understand. Man, for the last two months, the struggle has been real. Don't get me wrong. I might have washed my hair, sprinkled, dinkled a little water up on it. But that's about it. So I need to do some maintenance. Last you guys saw me, I was putting that good color in my hair. I was so excited. It was so pretty. It was so vibrant. It just gave me light. And then I started to neglect her because life came back with a vengeance. Your girl has a regular job. I am a regular, regular chick. And that regular job keep me like a ton of bricks. Y'all don't understand. I've been rocking this here bun <laughs> for a good two, three weeks. And I'm sick of it. And I know everybody is sick of me looking like I've been looking busty, dusty, and disgusted. But today, change might take two days but we're gonna get her back together the location is going to change the shirt is going to change by the way look at my shirt i'm black history because of course we made black history i don't care what nobody and you don't like it it's called stop go bye leave because i am what black history moving right along we are going to tame the main. We're going to talk about products that I love that you guys might have seen before. New products that you probably have not seen before. That I've personally never used. We're going to start a series called Glow or No. Because we need to know the products that make us glow. And if they don't, they got to go. Plain, simple, to the point, cut in. So let's get started. I'm gonna let y'all see this hair before I move. Now don't be shy. Don't be amazed. Cause it's bad. Y'all ready? Let me try to. Let me try. It already look bad. Look at it, y'all. I should be shaming myself. Oh Lord. Don't even move. <laughs> it don't even move no more. It like permanently stay. <laughs> Y'all, this band been on my hair. I take it off every now and again and push and wrap into the studio. As you can see, she needs help. The color's still pretty, even though she's quite dry. Hair, yet holding on. Got lots of new growth. I'm gonna have a video about how I take the black back to red. Y'all might have to do another press circle for me because I don't know how this gonna turn out, but we're gonna make it work. But first, we have to start with the basics. We're going back to the basics because I ain't did my hair in about a month and a half. I'm going to just be real. I haven't washed it. I haven't put any product in. I'm just sick of it, child. But instead of going bald, instead of shaving it off, instead of cutting it off, I'm going to try to love on her and bring her back to life. So let's go to the bathroom. Now let's look at the positive. The positive is my color still looks nice. It's dry as hell, but it still looks nice. But we're going to start off with a good comb out because that's what she needs. A good detangle. I'm going to use a tad bit of water. Because in my personal opinion, I think that combing out dry, brittle hair when you know for factual, actual that your hair is dry, brittle, 
and you decide that you are going to comb it out dry and brittle you are asking for maximum break how do i know that because i do it and then i'll be like bro where the water so we're gonna give her a little spritz but first let's section her off you might see me looking off this way and then back to the camera actual camera or looking this way because this is where the mirror is but if you see me looking like this it's because i'm looking at myself or if i'm looking this way i'm talking to you at the camera hey y'all hey y'all i feel a little cross-eyed because i want to look at myself <laughs> if i look cross-eyed y'all better tell me and don't mind these lashes they're gonna get done tomorrow you know it is what it is it's life I'm real. I don't want honey. I don't care. I'm not on camera looking like this. Y'all know I don't care. Anyway, back to what we was talking about. So, I'm in the mirror. I'm going to quickly section her off. Put all this hair in its own little lane. I'm going to do this side first so y'all can kind of see the process i am gonna speed through this because don't nobody want to watch nobody coming out there y'all know how to come out y'all head if y'all don't know how to come out y'all you don't need me you need to be teaching <laughs> in two ways <laughs> see I ended up to having four sections because I realized I do need to trim and this is back to the basics washing not going because you don't know that look at a previous video that's a myth that they like to tell you to make you think it's convenient and it ain't convenient at all to have natural hair it's a chore it's a lot but I digress anyway I want to do a little trim I have a whole video about trimming my hair what I've learned um the young lady that I watched had trimmed her hair and I really like what she did and it does help my hair growth trimming my hair I'm not gonna cut it I ain't gonna get Susan happy because I will get Susan happy but I'm not gonna I'm not going to get Susan happy. I'm going to actually cut it. So let me grab my tools. Okay. So I have a 
pair of hair shears. These are not regular scissors. They're really, really sharp, so be careful when you're cutting. If you need more shears, I will, you know, they're gonna be neat because at one time your girl was using kitchen scissors and I don't heal. So it could. <laughs> Let me not promote it. <laughs> Subsection our sections. We're going to comb through it. Make sure it's tangled as much as possible. I take my smallest tooth comb that I have. It happens to be a red tail, but it's the smallest one. That it can catch the tangles because nine times out of ten, like I said on my previous video, that will be linked probably right there with the I on it because it's in the nation. Uh, as I said on my previous video, normally the tangly rough parts of your hair are the pieces like that that need to be trimmed because they're getting caught because they're so rough. And more than likely, they're split and damaged. So I'm going to trim my hair. I'm not going to trim a lot. Going to probably trim about that much off. His hair don't grow big, especially if I trim it. That is actually not a myth. People like to say that that's a myth. And I can see straight through it. And you can see me straight through it. So it needs to go. wash my hair but so far this is it and that's not a lot for me the surprising part is the parts that I cut out are really hard that's what I expect because that's the part that I want out of my hair I don't want to feel hard and brittle ends that's not a good feeling so just snip them out I cut maybe an inch to an half, a half an inch off of every part so I didn't even cut a lot off of my hair. And as you can see, in two months, I grew maybe two, an inch and a half to two inches in two months. So for my hair, it grows pretty fast. So that doesn't, you know, I don't really, it's not a lot for me. I lose a lot more hair than this on a normal. So... For me not doing my hair for a month and a half, a month, maybe a month and a half, that's not that bad. Anyway, so now that I have all of this section off, I am going to pre-poo with my favorite pre-poo. I love to use the African Pride Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle Condition Pre-Shampoo. So it is said to help minimize breakage for natural coils and curls. I absolutely love this stuff. I do recommend it. I keep almost about to drop it. I do recommend you guys trying this out because it really, really, really conditions your hair before you even shampoo it. I'm going to use a clarifying shampoo, but this will help me with the shampoo process. Now, why would you put a product on your hair before you clarify your hair? One, I need to clarify my hair because I haven't washed it in a long time and I need to get all the gunk out. Um, if I show you guys my brush, if you can see my brush, there's a lot of dirt, oil, and residue in my hair. And I'm going to wash that brush later. 
that I wanted you guys to see the gunk in the residue. That's why I have to clarify my hair. Normally, I stick to co-washing my hair because shampoo strips your hair of your natural oils. Not stripping your hair is in, in the sense of clarifying your hair, but stripping your hair as far as you losing the natural oils of your hair that actually help your hair stay healthy. Anyway, rewind back up. Why do I use a pre-shampoo before I clarify my hair, which is going to strip my hair? Because the coating on this, the coating from the aloe coconut water, and to be a little bit more specific, aloe vera nourishes, conditions, and protects against breakage. And coconut water helps strengthen hair and restores moisture. This will stick to my hair shaft. I am not trying to clarify my strands. I'm trying to clarify my scalp. Please keep that in mind. You are not clarifying your hair. You're clarifying your scalp so that you can open the follicles so that you can clear out the gunk and the of the pores of your actual scalp so that you don't have all that stuff sitting on your hair so your hair can grow, so your hair can flourish. So them oils can trickle down to your strands and help you get all this goodness. You feel really? me? So let's get to pre pooing You can see the pre-shampoo is slimy because aloe vera gel or aloe vera is really slimy. So you can tell that it does have a natural base to it because it does give you a natural slime. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to rake my fingers through my hair. And as I rake, I'm going to start to take the strands apart. In the opposite direction so that I can get them all. Good old pre-poo out my hair. 
I clarify my hair with Wash Day Delight by Carol's Daughter. I really like this stuff and it also has aloe in it. There are no sole face, no parabens, no silicones, no artificial colors. Fades are good to avoid, especially if you have color treated hair, because when you have color treated hair, excuse me, whenever I wash my hair, I get sticky. If any of that happens to any of y'all, can y'all please let me know how to fix that? Because I hate that. I get all stuffy. Anyway, y'all know I get saturated really easy. Anyway, ingredient that will dull your color which is another reason why my color might have stayed or is staying vibrant longer because i don't use sulfates in any of my cleansers in any of my anything but i digress let me continue um no artificial colors i never really understood why they put that on the bottle i guess to make to make you think it's your product i don't know honey. I don't know, but whatever. This stuff is really good. It's not really foamy, which is a good sign because a lot of foam is a lot of sulfate normally. But it still clarifies your hair. It cleans your scalp. And you don't put it on your hair. When you wash it off, it will run down your shafts. Or it will automatically take the goo and the gunk or whatever you put on your hair off of your strand. So it does its job and I love it. It makes my hair really soft, but then it, it does dry it a little bit, which brings me to my next step, my favorite step, because this step has changed my hair forever. Deep conditioning. I am going to share my five top deep condition products of all time very soon. But this is my favorite right now. I change it up and I switch it up depending on what my hair feels like, feels like it may need. But right now, this is my favorite. The Intensive Hydration Hair Mask by Shea Moisture. This stuff is bomb. It's really thick, which I like. It smells really good. You can't smell it, but y'all definitely can see it. It's thick and ain't going nowhere. Y'all see that? But right now, this is my favorite deep conditioner. I put my plastic cap on with a clip, of course, so the main parts of my hair can sit at the top. I put my high head on, which I have featured in almost every video I've done because I love this thing. You can find it on Amazon or you can find it on the Hot Heads website, but this has changed the hair game for me. You, It has little beads in it. You put it in the microwave, put it three times, 15 seconds on each side. You toss this bad boy on your hair and it's like having a dryer on your hair. It does cool itself off, but it is warm when you first put it on. So I recommend when you take it out of the microwave, kind of shake it up. Because the beads inside of it get very, very warm. You put it on your hair, just like magic. But I'll be back 30 minutes later after I put my high head on. See you guys in a minute. Okay, you guys, my hair is freshly washed, freshly deep conditioned. I have not felt this feeling in a long time. So let me get to the last step before starting. And styling will begin on day two, so I will look different. <laughs> well, not that much different, but still. My conditioner, my leave in, my holy grail leave in that surprise that he got to me about a year ago when I started using it is Garnier Fructis. Who would have thunk it? Anyway, I am going to my part, I decided in my head, but I'm going to give myself two sides and I'm going to do my leave-in. Really quickly so you guys know, I have no rhyme or reason what the way I do my leave-in or how I do my leave-in. I do, this is called the praying hand method because you're praying hand sticks. 
I thought that was funny when I first heard it. You can actually do your styling gels like that too. A lot of people like doing it. I've tried it. It's okay. Um, I've seen some curly girls do praying hand method with their stylers because they like their curls elongated. Because your hair will still curl. It'll do whatever curl pattern that is in your hair. Mind you, I have three different curl patterns, which I really which is probably why I don't like the praying hand method for styling purposes because I can't make my curls uniform when I do that. But I just go through it, make sure everything is coated. other side just feel around to make sure everything's coated I go back and hit the ends cutting off the oldest part of your hair and even though I clipped it I didn't clip all of them so they need a little bit more loving Now, to preserve it, give it a chance to soak in a two-strand twist it to the scalp and then pre-twist it at the bottom. You do not have to do hands to hand twist your hair. You can just put it in some ponytail and twist the bottom. But I guess I'm a little extra. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the styling process. Bye. All right. Now, I fixed my light. <laughs> <laughs> it is day two and a half. <laughs> my hair, as you can see, has completely dry, but it just has leave-in in it. And I'll show you how I am going to my hair first things first I'm going to take out the two strand twist now I am going to leave my hair just like this out of my two strand twist why because I like how it looks I like the freeness of it it's not very frizzy I'll give you guys a close up Okay, but I am going to hit it with a little tough cookie, okay? And I'm going to use Taraji's Tough Cookie Styling. Can you guys see that? Let me give it, let, me let it focus. Styling def, Defining Gel. Now, we'll have a video actually using this, giving this a full product review. It's going to come after this video. I really love how this looks out of my two strand twist. So let me take this side out. Now, why am I doing it like this instead of actually styling using my styling tool and all that good stuff? Because 
have learned over the years, you through I have learned over the years that my hair does not cooperate with style plus gel. So because my hair doesn't always cooperate like that, I try to give it its time to sit, to settle, which I was doing with the two strand twist. Now I can go through and re-wet my hair and then put the styler on it and actually give it a defined curl. But because the two strand twist gave me a nice definition and justice, I'm going to leave it just like this. Now, if you can't do two strand twist, that's okay. You can actually just single plait your hair like you're doing ponytails for a kid and it'll give you the same curl definition. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't know what 4C, 4B, even some 4A girls go through when they two strand twist their hair. But for my three and B and C girls, I got all three of those in my hair. Twists work really well. Now, what I can say for the 4C A and B girls that you guys can get the same definition using two strand twists or using a plaid out method is just going to be more shrunken because your coils or your curls are tighter. That's the only difference. You can receive the same look. It's just going to be a little tighter because your curls are tighter. Now, I'm going to hit the ends of my hair with a little water. Just to put some light back into it. I'm going to put a little bit of the cookie butter. It's not as thick as I would like a gel to be. It does have a fragrance. But again, I'm going to give you guys a full product review on the Taraji's cookie butter after this video. So stay tuned next week for a new product video. But I'm only going to put a little bit on the ends of my hair to make it sticky, make it stay. Try not to disturb it too much because I don't want a lot of frizz because throughout the day my hair going to get frizzy. If you guys want to see what products or what my hair looks like after a full day of just being me or working or just hanging out or doing whatever, let me know. Make sure you guys give me <clears throat> things you want to see, products you want me to use. I don't mind using just about any product. The only products I won't use um, are products that have sulfate in them because I love my color and I don't want to ruin it. For those of you that asked me what my color looked like and if it still looked vibrant, I would say yes. As you can tell, like my the gel kind of sits on the top of my hair. And there you have it. This is my style. For my wash day routine. If you want a more detailed wash day routine, if you want to see what my hair looks like after a full day of just running around on my everyday life, see what happens because it will boop, 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 grow and get frizzy and look a hot mess and then I put it in a ponytail and that's all she wrote. <laughs> if you guys want to see that, let me know. If you guys have any products you want me to review, put them down below and I would love to review them. I missed you guys so much, but your girl is back. All right, you guys, I will see you in another video. Bye.